Welcome, I'm Jonathan, and I'll show you how to create a family tree using Google Sheets and YAD. The links to the software you need to follow along are in the description of the video. This is an update to a video I made last year, and I think it is much easier, and I hope you find it useful. And if you do find it useful, please let me know. To get started, click on the link to YAD Graph Editor. This will open the website where you can download the version for your system. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is a free program, and we'll be using version 3.22. Once you have it downloaded and installed, go to the next link, which is a configuration file I've created for this project. Click on the link to have the file downloaded to your system. Then we'll go into YED. At the welcome screen, you can create a new document, then click Edit, Properties Mapper, click the Import Additional Configurations icon, click on the file, and then Open. Now the configuration has been added to YED for this project. Return to the YouTube video for the third step, which is to copy the Google Spreadsheet Family Tree template to your Google Drive. Click on the link on the page that's presented. Click Make a Copy. This will bring a copy of the file to your Google Drive. And you can customize where it is located by clicking the Move folder. You can select the location that you desire. Let me show you the columns in this spreadsheet. The first is the type, which means male or female, and you select that through a dropdown. And you can enter the name, last name, a suffix or a prefix, a title, a nickname, basic information about each person. You can enter their parent information, and I'll demonstrate how to do that. The other fields are the basic birth, marriage, and death fields and you can add notes or a website. Let's get started with the example. So we'll enter my name first, and then we'll enter my mother's name. We'll add a father to our family tree, and Here's how you add the relationship connection. Once you have the name entered, you'll see that the drop-down list gets updated with the names. I'll add my parents to my name row. And the spreadsheet does some error checking. For example, you have to choose a name that's been typed in. And if we change a name, so let's change this from mother to mother's name, you'll see now that the dropdown has a red indicator saying an invalid input has been used. And so we should update it to match the name exactly. The other error checking is for type. Let's say that we have tried to enter a name without setting a type, then the type highlights in red to letting us let us know that we need to do that before we download our file. So this is a grandparent, I'll add that. And let's add another grandparent to see our third error. The third error here is that names need to be unique. You can add additional information to make names different or you can enter a suffix to make the names unique and so let's add the grandparent relationship and let's add one last person before we download our file which will be an example of a spouse And I'll add the spouse to the first record. And that 
is ready to be downloaded. Let's click on File, Download. Microsoft Excel is the type that we want to download. You don't need to have Excel installed to use this process. You just are downloading it in this format. YED can read in the file. All right, that file has been downloaded. Let's import it into YED by clicking Open and then selecting the file that was downloaded, our Excel file. You may need to change the file types to all files to see the Excel file. If you don't see the file, GraphML is the default. Make sure you select all files and then choose Excel. Click open. This will open up the MS Excel import dialog. You'll see there were additional sheets downloaded, edges and nodes. These were hidden in the Google sheet, but we'll use them now. To select the edges, click the gray square between the A and the one that highlights all the cells. In the edge list section under the data range, click adopt. Below that column of source IDs, adopt. And it chooses the A column automatically. To select the target IDs, we'll need to select the B column, which has our targets, click adopt. Now switch to the nodes tab. Again, click the gray square between the one and the A to select all the cells. Down in the node list section under the data range, click adopt. And again, below that column of node IDs, click adopt. And now it's selected nodes A. We're done with this part. Let's go over to the presentation tab, click use configuration and the configuration file that we imported earlier will be used here. In the edges section, this is optional, but I like to select the template as undirected polyline. I like the look of that. So let's click OK. And now we have our little family tree here. It's not structured the way we want, so we'll need to do is change the layout. Click layout, family tree layout. And from here, I like to use family always below. Make sure that's checked. And let's put this into the, let's dock this menu because we may use it again. So we just press the apply changes and that organizes our family tree. So you can see here's the names we've added. If we added uh, birth dates, the, the, the year would show up here but I just didn't do that for this example, but you can experiment with it. And now you can add as many nodes as you can and fill in your tree, print it off, uh, experiment and make it look the way you want. But that is the end of the tutorial. Much easier than the previous version, I'd say. Let me know what you think. Take care.